What's up, YouTube? I'm DSR, Down South Reefer. i am uh, basically got a small reefing channel on here that I've been posting my progression of my 40 gallon Nuvo, uh, Innovative Marine Nuvo uh, fish tank. Um, it's been a fun journey. Uh, started off about three years ago and uh, posted a lot, you know, with it had the, the groove of all the needing of my very first saltwater tank and and you know getting into the hobby and uh, it was a lot of, a lot of fun and then um, life matters kind of turned and, and some things took place and uh, had some things that were more important to me in life than uh, my fish tank was so I kind of uh, had it, it kind of took a back door I kept it going you know did my general maintenance um, but I fell back on my YouTube videos fell back on really doing anything with the tank uh, it pretty much stayed just the way it was uh, again I just I did my general maintenance I followed you know I fought my battles with uh, you know, hair algae and, and different types of things, and uh, never really lost any fish besides uh, trying to, you know, just actually never lost really any fish at all, um, not during that time. And then recently I uh, I got kind of back into it a little bit and released a couple of videos just to let you know all I was out there and alive and the tank was still up and going and uh, then kind of gave an update on, on where we was at. And I did some did some changes, you know, uh, with, the, with the hair algae I was fighting a couple times. My, my, my scape changed a couple times and I kind of restarted that. I couldn't figure it out. So I, I kind of gave myself a restart, you know, where I was and what I was doing and what could I have been doing wrong. I thought about buying a skimmer, but I didn't do it. And I, I've never ran a skimmer on this tank. So, um, but long story short, you know, I, I brought out a couple videos uh, in regards to that tank and what was, what was going on with me and uh, what was going forward with me. Uh, so I had actually bought another tank and if you watch my channel, you know I bought 120 gallon uh, SC Aquariums, um, beautiful, beautiful Euro braced, uh, you know, typical four by four, uh, four foot by four, four foot by two foot by two foot. And uh, that was kind of, I built a stand for it, um, posted a video for the building of the stand, which was just the framing, you know, the framework of the stand. And then um, I posted a, a, a video for Billy Pipes' contest. And uh, when I showed my 40, and that was really the first video of my 40 that um, since I had done the changes to it. And I'm gonna do, I think I'll do a, another update video on that just to explain the changes. So I don't wanna go in real deep on this video. This is kind of just to let you know what's gonna be going going forward right now. Um, but I wanna go back to the, my, my big tank, the SD Aquariums. I, I told y'all I was, had this dream build I was gonna do and, and well, it, it still is a dream build, but it's taken a drastic different uh, direction than what originally it was going to be. So basically that tank sat in my closet, or not my closet, but in my, my bedroom, my spare bedroom for nearly eight months, nine months, um, and it didn't move. Um, I kept putting, you know, things aside, doing other things with the money that I was going to be spending on that to do, to do this super build, to do this uh, dream build, so we'll call it. And uh, it just kept getting put off and put off and put off and nothing was ever happening with it. And the longer I thought about it, the more I thought about how much money actually was going to be put into this thing. And some people out there have very large tanks and they have a lot of money into them. Me, I'm an average Joe. I make average money. Um, and, and to put the type of money into this uh, aquarium that I was, you know, had planned on doing, uh, just overall my mind was sickening. Um, not in a bad way, just in a way that's like wow you know uh, to do all this to build all this and, and i don't know basically i changed my direction of what i was going to do um, so with all the cost involvement that was going to be and what I, I, just to give you a hint i was thinking it was probably going to be anywhere close to eight to ten thousand dollars that i was going to do with this tank before i was even going to be putting sand live rock or water in it um, and then you're talking another two to three thousand dollars by the time you're done stocking the tank and putting fish in it and putting coral in it. And then one thing could happen, one little thing could happen, and boom, your tank crashes. Obviously, the number one reason why you see people on YouTube that have great tanks and then they disappear forever. Most likely, their tanks crashed. And to try to recover from that, especially if you have that kind of money invested and it's that large. Uh, it, it's just a, it's just a killer. I mean, um, there's even some guys that have, that have actually come back on on YouTube, some of the channels you can watch, and even the best of the best have crashes. And I just thought, you know, I don't think I could. I think I would end up being one of those that would have that happen, and I don't think I could recover from it. 
and I was going to be trying something I'd never done before. Uh, I, I was going to be trying the Triton method, um, which I've never even heard of you know, before uh, I started researching it. A lot of things that was going to be really tough and, and difficult to try to do for the first time with so much money involved in it. So I'm rambling, you know, rambling on here about, about all this, but I wanted to give you guys a little video um, about who I am, who I am actually in person, um, and what is going to happen to the 120. So my fish, uh, my fish life started when I was a kid. I had a tropical, you know, obviously everybody had goldfish and the fairs and all that stuff, but uh, I had a tropical community tank, uh, nothing special, a 29 gallon, and I had that as a young, youngster and then uh, once I moved into my first apartment, I had a few different types of tanks. I had Sitla tanks, I had a Paku, I had Oscars, um, and all that. And I kind of got out of it a little bit. I got engaged and, and things like that and uh, didn't have a fish tank for years. Um, and then one day, it is going to sound silly, one day I woke up and had a dream. From, and I remember the dream, it was something about a saltwater tank. So uh, I went to a, a local con you know, convention or, or uh, gathering, I forget what you all call them, um, where you know, everybody was there and I... I did an impulse buy, which was a BioCube 32 LED, and that's my very first video that you're going to see on my channel for, for being fish related. And that explains a little bit about that journey. But um, again, back to the 120, I know this video is already getting long. I don't want it to, uh, most of y'all people ain't going to be listening to me talk. Um, but the 120, I'm going to be going back to freshwater. And uh, it's not going to be a saltwater tank. It is going to most likely be a South American uh, themed slash as close as I can get to a biotope um, blackwater aquarium I'm thinking again this build is changing nightly just about it seems but that's my goal uh, I think I'd like to uh, have a blackwater tank I really like uh, Mike's from Mass Aquariums um, if you haven't checked out his channel go check it out it's uh, uh, Mass Aquariums um, but he has a really nice, I think it's a 135 square uh, black water South American theme tank that he did. So I really like his and I, I like just the, the idea of it, um, of taking a piece of nature and putting it in your house. Now I do like the planted tanks as well. So uh, that's why I'm having such a hard time deciding, you know, by, uh, black water tanks don't have a lot of plants in them, but although I do like the plants, so it might be a, you know, kind of a themed South American black water um, rather than biotope. Biotopes are supposed to be exact to the nature of the area where you found it at, or you're basing it at, and some of that you can't actually get, like you can't get the wood, you can't, you know, you can't mimic it exactly, so you just try to do the best you can. But I just want to give you that guys an update. I am rambling on big time, but this is me. I'm going to try to put myself more in my videos. Uh, I think it's more personable. I think it's uh, brings more of interest if you know who, who you're talking to rather than a couple hands and a, and a voice in the background. I'm not going to be doing any more uh, opening DSR or downtown reefer stuff. I find myself when I'm watching videos fast forwarding through those. So I'm pretty much sure that you guys probably fast forward those too. So you'll never see ads on me. Um, you'll never see, I'm not going to do any more intros, I guess you call them. Uh, I'm just going to be straight up fish stuff. Um, try to do as much unboxings and things like that as I can for this purchase. My next, uh, my next, I did buy a new pump. So I, I got that video done up and it'll be, it'll be posted shortly after this one. Um, now that I have, you know, updated what I'm going to be doing with the 120. And then I'm going to be building a sump out of a 40 gallon breeder for the 120. And I have no idea what I'm doing. <laughs> I have gone online and searched and searched and searched. And some of the sumps that I see for freshwater are just insanely crazy. Uh, and I think it can be a lot simpler than that. Uh, and so I'm going to try it. I have a diagram of my, th my thoughts of what I'm going to do with it. And I'm going to put that video out as soon as I get it built. I'm going to try to do it today. Don't know if it's going to happen, but I'm going to attempt it. Obviously, it's not going to be done today because the silicone is going to have to dry, but I'm going to at least try to get it started and get the video going. Um, but yeah, I'm going to be doing a 40-gallon breeder sump, and my thought process is on it is going to have filter socks. I know I've always said I hated filter socks, but this is going to be the best, best direction to go for this uh, sump. It's going to be filter socks, and then uh, this crazy filter pad that I found, this, this Lifeguard Aquatics filter pad, which I need. I'd like to hear some, you know, some feedback on once I post that out there and I might actually do a video just on that just so I can get feedback on these things because I think I think it will do what I want it to do but I have my concerns uh, and then it's going to be a uh, it's going to be a freshwater refugium with a bunch of marine pure blocks so 
So uh, that just gives you an idea of what is going on. All right, I don't know where the time's at on this. I'm sure it's long. But guys, I'm DSR, Down South Reefer. Uh, I'm hoping to start putting some more videos out there. I know I fell off again after I showed the, the videos of uh, that Billy Pipes video. That was my last video. But the stand is built. Uh, I just gotta do some touch-up painting on it. it. It's finished. It turned out amazing. Uh, I definitely changed the direction of what I was going with the stand after I decided I was gonna do a biotope or a, a South American themed uh, aquarium. Um, so I will do a video, on a finishing video on the stand. I got some pictures of me building it. I didn't do a video of me actually finishing the build, kind of like I did when I built the frame. Uh, I don't really think you need a video on that. The framing was more of an educational video on how to build a stand. So again, um, rambling on, but if you're still here on this part of the video, then thank you very much, and I hope you enjoy my videos, and I'll try to be uh, bring to you as many as I can going forward, and uh, you can hold it to me if I don't. All right, guys, DSR is out again. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe.